a loser search. It looks as if we may have hit peak search. This year, 6% fewer people say they use search engines to discover brands, products, and services. Where is the discovery shifting to? Social networks and Amazon. The top eight social networks drove about a third of site traffic in 2014, and almost 40% of U.S. shoppers start their purchases on Amazon versus 11% on Google. Google recently announced that more searches take place on mobile devices than on computers in 10 countries, including the U.S. and Japan. And the bottom line is that the move to mobile is not good for Google. Why? In-app on mobile is typically 90% of your time on a mobile phone, and people are less likely to leave the app and search on Google. This could hurt Google's core business, which is 90% of their revenue, and about 120 or 130% of their profits. In other words, everything else loses money maybe with the exception of YouTube, which is essentially a search engine with videos in front of it. This is going to get very interesting for what is arguably one of the most dominant and important and meaningful companies in history, as its core business may begin to go into structural decline. A winner, Chanel, the iconic luxury firm and arguably the strongest brand in the world right now, added an impressive $3 billion to its owner's pockets last year. I'm sure they needed it. Anyways, one reason for the brand's success is an aggressive pay-to-play social strategy, especially on YouTube. The videos really are inspiring. Chanel became the first fashion brand to blow past the 100 million view milestone earlier this year. And on Instagram, Chanel became literally an overnight success, garnering almost 2 million followers within the first 24 hours of their launch on the platform. And of course, it didn't hurt that Giselle Bunchen teased the campaign the week before. A winner, Uber. Well, no kidding, tell us something we don't know. Other unicorns may be benefiting from the halo of Uber's dramatic rise in valuation. Specifically, as the information.com reported this week, Uber's Series C step up has raised the valuations for every unicorn. In its Series C, Uber went from a value of $300 million to $3 billion. That's one round, tenfold increase. So here at L2, we've definitely caught Pope fever, which is, which is all the more remarkable given we're an office of Jews and atheists. But anyways, this week, We wanted to finish leaving you with these wonderful images of the renovation of St. Patrick's Cathedral here in New York City. The project was planned and executed over the last decade, and by what some might consider an act of divine intervention, its completion has coincided with a visit from the Pope himself. 18,000 areas of the facade needed repair, white marble indistinguishable from the gray that surrounded it, and 9,200-pound bronze doors have been restored. Almost 8,000 pipes ranging in length from 32 feet to half an inch taken apart and tuned, and almost 4,000 stained glass panels conserved and restored to their original illuminant luster. Cardinal Dolan said three years ago, when you have a renewed, revived, restored, and repaired St. Patrick's, we're going to be more effectively able to preach a message of service to the poor. We'll see you next week.